As the supreme law of the land, the Federal Constitution, or the Constitution, essentially sets up the three main institutions needed to govern Malaysia, namely the Legislative, the Executive and the Judiciary. The Parliament consists of the Yang Dipertuan Agong, the House of Representatives, or the Dewan Rakyat, and the Senate, the Dewan Negara. They make, amend, and abolish laws in line with provisions in the Constitution. The Yang Dipertuan Agong, Prime Minister, Cabinet Ministers, and Civil Service make up the government, which run the country according to laws passed in Parliament, which themselves must be in line with the Constitution. As for the judiciary, the several types of courts in Malaysia include the civil courts, the Sharia courts, and the native courts, of which the latter only exists in the states of Sabah and Sarawak. These courts resolve legal disputes, including but not limited to those between individuals and or corporations, as well as between individuals and the government. However, the sole arbiter over the constitutional division of powers is the federal court, the highest level of civil courts in Malaysia. Any disputes between states or between states and the federal government can only be brought to the federal court. The primary judiciary system in Malaysia is a federalized court system that functions uniformly nationwide. The Sharia courts, however, function in parallel to civil courts and only have jurisdiction over matters of state Islamic law which involves Muslims. The provision of different, separate functions and powers for these three institutions is outlined in Article 127 of the Constitution as the separation of powers. It simply means that the power to govern the country is divided between the three different and independent bodies, ensuring none become too powerful. One makes and passes laws, the other enforces and executes these laws, and yet another interprets and practices the law. A built-in check and balance system is automatically created, as each institution will check and monitor what the other does. There exist three tiers of government in Malaysia, federal, state, and local and core differences between these lie within their respective jurisdictions of power. Schedule 9 of the Constitution details these jurisdictions, covering what they can and cannot make laws on. For example, the Federal List of Schedule 9 covers matters such as defence, national finance and federal holidays. The Concurrent List covers things such as social welfare, scholarships and the protection of wildlife. The State List covers Islamic law, agriculture as well as local government while the Supplement List for Sabah and Sarawak covers native law, agriculture, forests and other items that are particular to the two East Malaysian states. However, both the powers of the executive and legislative bodies tend to be vested in the federation rather than the states. It's also stipulated within Article 75 that the federal law will always take precedent and override inconsistencies between state and federal laws. Similarly, State governments have their respective executive and legislative bodies, albeit with some minor differences. Each state government is created by its respective state constitution, with members elected into the state legislative assembly, unlike the two-chambered federal legislative system. For the nine states of Johor, Negeri Sembilan, Pahang, Selangor, Perak, Kedah, Trunganu, Kelantan and Perlis, their heads of state are the respective monarchs. However, the heads of state for the states of Pulau Pinang, Malacca, Sabah and Sarawak are their respective Yang Dipertuan Negeri, which is interchangeably addressed as the state governor. The state governments themselves are led by chief ministers who come from the majority party in their respective state assemblies. Each state also has its own executive council, or cabinet in the case of Sabah and Sarawak, that are answerable to their state assemblies. While both the federal and state governments are elected, the local government is not elected by the Rakyat. Local council elections were suspended in 1965 due to the Konfrontasi incident and have not been reinstated since. Hence, local government officials are often appointed by state governments, acting as indicators of where the interest of each state's ruling party or coalition lie. The three types of local authorities, or pihak berkuasa tempatan, are city council, municipal council and district council. Local authorities are responsible for urban planning, basic facilities and infrastructure, monitoring development, public health, waste management, business licensing, maintaining the peace, urban beautification, as well as encouraging the local economy. City and municipal councils must provide revenue collection activity and facilitate sustainable town planning for their citizens, whereas district councils are more focused on providing infrastructure facilities and public utility services. 
The population size and financial revenue of an area essentially determine what type of local authority operates there. However, in some instances where a local authority has the capability and capacity to generate additional revenue and achieve the specific requirements, they can be upgraded to the next level of council. This happened in December of 2019, where the cabinet granted the approval for Majlis Pabandaran Subangjaya to be upgraded to Majlis Bandaraya Subangjaya.